So today we are meeting with Dr. Eric Feldheim. He is a physical therapist and therapeutic pain specialist here at Prairie Lakes Rehabilitation Services. And we're going to be talking about pain. And one of the things that my family always told me when I was growing up was, get up, no pain, no gain. So tell me, Eric, what is the truth to that? Right, right. Now, as long as you're spelling the word no, K-N-O-W, right? So, so pain is very complex and very multifactorial, and there's, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, and, and truly one of the things that can lead patients and, and people to have disability and, and prolonged issues is if they don't understand their pain um, and they really avoid painful situations or they just blast through it altogether and maybe have a little bit of the old school, <laughs> no pain, no gain sort of concept. All right, so how do I know if something's really hurting me? Is that pain real? Is it all in my head? Well, well, all pain is real, and it's, it's very important to, to, to let people know that. Um, there's, there's some people that have in the past, they've been told, well, I can't find anything on your x-ray or your MRI, or I can't find any reason why you would have pain. Um, and for patients, that can be really discouraging um, to where they kind of feel like, well, nobody can find out what's wrong with me. Why do I hurt? And pain is truly much more complex than that. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. It's a complex interplay with our nervous systems, our immune systems, our endocrine, our hormone systems in our body. Um, so it's, it's very important that, that people understand that, yes, your pain is really, it's not all in your head, um, and that there are things that we can do to help treat that. Well, that's good to know. So talking about pain, when do I know that it's an issue? You know, if I'm going through all the doctor's appointments and they can't really find anything wrong with me, when do I know to come to you or a therapeutic pain specialist for some help? Right, right. And, and I would say that a great place to kind of start with that is when you notice that the pain is starting to really affect the things that bring meaning to your life and the things that you really enjoy doing um, or affect your job or your ability to make a living wage and and you're kind of um, on the fringe of it's becoming unrelenting. And, and it's not just the normal pain you get after a sprained ankle or uh, you shoveled a little bit more than you had been, so the back's a little sore. When it becomes unrelenting, everyday, um, disabling almost type of pain, um, and you've, you've done a lot of the standard approaches um, to finding relief and finding care, then it's probably a good idea to get um, a little bit more of a, a deeper look at some of the potential underlying lifestyle behaviors or um, um, social habits that might be contributing to your condition. All right, so talk a little bit more about that. So it sounds like something a little more chronic. Right. It's when it's concerning. Mm -hmm. um, so any other advice that you would have? Right. Um, first and foremost, you know, once we've ruled out all the all the big scary things, we've we've cleared out that there's a fracture and. Or any, or any big, scary pathologies that would need a really um, specific type of workup from a healthcare provider. Um, what we want to make sure that we do is that we keep moving. Um, that can be one of the, the hallmarks of um, any rehab program for pain, whether it's acute pain or chronic pain. You know, one of the first things we have patients do in the hospital after they've had a joint, <clears throat> a joint replaced is that we get them up and we get them moving. It's so vital for so many human functions and and movement really is essential to, to what makes us human. And um, sometimes what can happen is if people don't understand pain, right, they have the, mm -hmm. the, the not the K-N-O-W type of know about pain, and um, it becomes very easy to have fear about moving. Am I going to make it worse, right? I've tried exercising before. Um, and sometimes patients can have um, a relationship with exercise where it becomes very feelful, or they don't know where to start, right? It's kind of like the, the elephant. How do I approach the elephant, or how would I eat an elephant? And it can be daunting sometimes. You're like, I can't fit that entire elephant in my mouth, right? But sometimes the therapist can help you find that, that little where to start sort of thing. You eat the elephant one bite at a time. And right. what can you do um, in terms of getting back moving and getting back in your life again? Yeah, so movement is medicine. I think I've heard you say that Absolutely. lots Absolutely. of times. Yep, yep, it's, it's, it's critical. Um, in the Pain Science Fellowship, that, that um, there's a current cohort going through, there are kind of 22 different types of treatments for pain 
and 11 of them have some form of movement. So that is a huge piece of what we have to do when we hurt, is what can we do despite the pain? What sort of movements can we do that I can maybe find that zone where I'm sore, but I'm safe. Right? I don't have that um, blast through it, no pain, no gain, but I also don't avoid any pain. Um, and that can be kind of tricky um, to find that, and that's, that's when a therapist can help you identify that starting point. Perfect. That's great to know. So if someone wants to work with you, they just need to talk to their doctor and be referred over yep, to yep. Prairie Lakes Rehab. Yep, yep. So uh, I practice in the in the specialty clinic at the, uh, at the New Prairie Lakes uh, Specialty Clinic, the, the, the east side, southeast side of the campus over here, and the new building that we've been in for about a year. So um, these aren't concepts that uh, just I use in the clinic. Other therapists use them as well, and we try to... Um, kind of pull some knowledge and practice techniques from one another so that uh, patients get the, the best possible outcome. Well, perfect. Anything else you have to say today? You can drink our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, I think it's just um, for those who've been suffering from pain with a long time, it can be really disheartening. Um, when they've tried um, every different medicine or maybe they've been on a medicine for a really long time and the medicine used to give them relief, but now it doesn't for some reason. Um, it's, it's really important that uh, as a healthcare provider that we, we take a step back and, and ask questions about their lifestyle and their habits and their belief systems and their family history and some of those things that um, are maybe a little bit more nuanced in addition to looking at their motion and their strength and, and some of those things. Right, really personalizing Absolutely. that therapy for that Absolutely. person. Absolutely. The right treatment for the right patient at the right time. Exactly. So. Well, thanks so much for joining us today.